Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture. So today I am going to explain you how we can perform simulation of AND gate with the help of software. I hope working of AND gate is clear to you. So here uh, you can see uh, two table of AND gate. First two column represent input of the AND gate and third column represent output of the AND gate. So from this table, it is clear that when both inputs of AND gate are 1, 1, then output of AND gate will be 1. For all other input combination, output of AND gate is always 0. So we are going to verify this two table of AND gate with the help of software. So before moving to that software, uh, let's see pin diagram of uh, one IC that is 7408. So this 7408 is a IC which contains internally 4 AND gate. So this is pin diagram of 7408. So as we can see here that on one side of IC there are 7 pin, on other side of IC there are 7 pin. So pin number 1 and 2 correspond to input of first AND gate and pin number 3 correspond to output of first AND gate. Similarly pin number 4 and 5 act as an input to second AND gate and pin number 6 act as an output of second AND gate. Pin number 7 should be connected to ground. So in similar way, on opposite side of IC, you will find two more AND gate. Pin number 14 should be connected to BCC. So this is pin diagram of 7408. So here, uh, please try to understand that pin number 1 and 2, they are the input for first AND gate and pin number 3 are output. Now pin number 3 is output of the first AND gate. And pin number 7 should be connected to ground and pin number 14 should be connected to BCC. Now let's move to the software. So first of all, what you can do, you can go to the Google and in Google, just type tinkercad.com. So go to this website. In order to use this website, you should have an account. First of all, you should create here account. I have already created account. So I will click on sign in and sign in with Google. After that, uh, you, will be, you will be directed to one web page of this website. So it is taking time, All right? Now here uh, you can find different options. So there is one option on this web page. There is one option circuit. So just click on circuit. Uh, then here uh, you can see different circuits that are created by you. So now we want to create new circuit. So click on uh, create new circuit option. Then you will be uh, directed to again uh, new web page. So on right hand side of this web page, you will find uh, one drop down box. If I click on that drop down box, drop down list, uh, there you will find one option component. Again, uh, basic component and all component, whether you want all component or basic component. So suppose I say all component. Now, first of all, I want breadboard. So here I will type breadboard. Okay, so here you will get three options and these three options for breadboard. So let's select one breadboard here so here uh, I will not explain how to use breadboard so we have taken breadboard then uh, we will take now say 1408 IC what is our aim we want to verify working of AND gate and AND gates are present in 7408 IC so we will select this 7408 IC so just you have to perform your drag and drop option. So drag this 740 IC and place it on this breadboard somewhere here. Okay. So this is 740. Already we have seen pin diagram of 740. On one side of 740 there are 7 pin. On other side there are 7 pin. Okay. So uh, here if you count these pins you will find 7 pins here and 7 pins on other sides. Here the question is that uh, how to identify pin number 1. So on this I see, uh, can you see this small dot, white dot. So the pin uh, which is corresponding to this uh, white dot will be a pin number 1. So this is pin number 1, pin number 2, pin number 3. So in same way this will be the pin number 7. So we have seen that pin number 7 of 740 IC should be connected to ground. And on other side this is pin number 8 to pin number 14. So this is pin number 14 and it should be connected to VCC okay now let's take here one power supply we will require 5 volt power supply so this is option 
for giving power supply so see these are the default setting of power supply here you can find 5 volt supply so that is sufficient in order to use this IC okay now uh, in this power supply you will find two option okay so this positive so it should be considered as VCC so just make connection between this hole of power supply and this hole of breadboard okay so we have connected VCC to this um, bottom row bottom most row of this breadboard so all the holes that are present in this row will act as a VCC okay then uh, this is ground so we'll take one connection from ground to this next row of the breadboard okay so now all holes that are present in this next row will act as a ground now what i will do i will take one connection from this bottom most row to the top most row okay so bottom most row i told you that all holes present in this bottom most row they are going to act as a vcc i have taken one connection from that uh, row to the top most row so that all the holes that are present in our uh, top most row will also act as a vcc then i will make here one more connection i will take connection from this uh, row to this second row of the breadboard okay so that this second row of the breadboard will also act as a ground right so it is simple what we have done just from power supply we have taken this is in ground so first row and this last row of the breadboard will act as a VCC then uh, second row and uh, this second last row of breadboard will act as a ground now let's make connection for the 7408 so in 7408 uh, we have seen that pin number 7 should be connected to ground so which is pin number 7 yes so this is pin number 7 so it should be connected to the ground okay then pin number 14 which is pin number 14 so this is pin number 14 right so this pin number 14 should be connected to VCC so this is VCC right so ground and VCC connections are off after that inputs so pin number one we want to verify what is the way we want to verify to table of and gate so we'll take this first and gate so what are the inputs to this first and gate pin number one and two so pin number one so what i will do i will connect this pin number one uh, so suppose to this bottom most row okay so that this input will be one right so this last row of this breadboard is acting as a vcc so vcc that is one so this second pin of 7408 again i will connect to one hole of this last row so that second input of first and gate will be again one one see where I have connected pin number 1 and pin number 2 I have connected pin number 1 and 2 of 7408 IC to this last row to two holes of this last row so that uh, I can supply 1 1 as a input to this two pins now from this pin number 3 we are going to take output now how to see the output so for that we will require one LED here so let's take one LED so I will put a LED here so this LED is having a two pin one is so this is anode so this is cathode so we are going to connect output of this AND gate to the anode but if we directly connect output of this uh, AND gate to the anode input to this particular input of LED then uh, due to uh, current due to large current this LED may get burst so here we will use one register so now I will take register here yes so let's take a register now i want to rotate it so just click on r just uh, click the key labeled as r okay now what we have done we have connected one end of a register to this input of led now other end of this register should be connected to pin number 3 of 7408 
okay so both inputs of registers are connected properly one end of register is connected to anode uh, of the led and other end of power register is connected to output of the first and gate present in 740 dice now what about this other input of led so other input should be connected to ground so which is ground so this second row of breadboard is acting as a ground so i hope connections are over after making all this connection what you can do you can click on this button that is start simulation okay so after starting simulation so see here we can see that led is on led is on means output of the 7408 is 1 see so why output of AND gate is 1 because here both inputs are connected to 1 1 so that's why output of AND gate is 1 and due to this 1 this LED is on now what I will do I will change so again I will show the, you the simulation so see after starting simulation and you can see that LED is on I will stop the simulation now I will change the inputs so this first input first input I will connect to the ground that is zero okay now here first input of first pin of 740 it is connected to ground so here it is zero so first input is zero and second input is one so if we see um, to table of 740 uh, and gate so for one zero what output is expected zero okay so here first input is zero second input is one so here you will get zero so due to this zero whether this led will become on no it will be in off condition so now let's start the simulation now see here we can see the see that led is off so in this way we can perform simulation of and gate thank you